Okay, everybody, we're uh, we're doing some work on a Chevy here, buddy's truck. Yeah, did some stuff and blew one of these guys out. It's his oil pan gasket. Uh, I believe it's a 350 small block, four bolt main, big belt heads. You know, all the fancy stuff. But this guy. We just finished cleaning this thing up here. Nice shiny chrome oil pan. Had it on there before, but it was kind of dirty. Missed a little schmutz in there. But we'll climb down here. It's lovely having this pit to work in. A lot of you guys don't get to see what we actually how our shop is set up, but. This is how it is. There's his transmission. Can't really see it, but there we go. There's the bottom of the block. Bottom end and whatnot. It's kind of greasy down here because it was leaking a whole lot of oil. Everything is just covered down here. But we're going to change out the oil pan gasket for him here. And he's also getting a new spinner majigger back here that connects the Wachamahooza to the thingamabob back here. And it's a leak and tranny fluid. I thought we put a stop to that. But I guess not. So. A little bit of stuff to do. Don't know what this green wire is for. It's out of the original harness, but we'll uh, probably tape that up right there so it's not in the way or doesn't get pinched in in the bell housing area because that throws things out of a line. And nobody wants to deal with that. That's just annoying. But, we will, uh, yeah, try and get it done before he gets back. We've got Cadillac to work on, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pick this up in a couple of minutes here. Okay, so we got this all lined up, oil pan gasket, bolts. Proper toolkit, because I don't know where all the pieces are for that. Somebody was working on last night, and well, that's his toolkit. <clears throat> and he's got pieces. There you go, everywhere. That light's kind of obnoxious, especially when you're using camera. But look at how shiny this is. So shiny. And then we got some wrenches, you know, and a dirty, messy shop. It was worse. All of this right up in here was all full of stuff a few days ago. We're slowly working at cleaning it out. But that's how shops go, you know, you clean it out. And then, uh,. Some people walk in while you're in the middle of making a video. Hi, Tammy. Say hi. You're going to be on YouTube, by the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we found these single bottles here. Put in the it. Right. Well, I read the package. It has instructions right on it, so there's no piece of paper to get in the way. <clears throat> um, yes, I actually read the instructions. It's not much. It's four, four simple little steps here. You know, it took me like 30 seconds. Something like that. But these go in to the corner of the block. Let's see if we can't get one of these out of here. This, this guy doesn't work so well no more. And neither does the rest of these. Because I dropped the transmission on it last summer. Broke it. Okay, so 
this guy threads up into the bottom of the block. Mm -hmm. Right? All four corners, there's four of them. Okay, let's see if we can't actually do this here. It's kind of hard to do this with uh, one hand, you know. But I guess it helps uh, work the hand back in, I guess, because it's not quite up to... up to what it's supposed to be at here. Okay, get rid of those. And grab two of these. Okay, let's see if we can't move this light to a better position. Uh, well, kinda, we'll turn this guy on. Okay. So they say these thread into there. We should make sure this fits the oil pan first before we go doing this. Oh yeah. Mint. Fits beautifully. Okay, so we're gonna take this and stick it back up or put it up in here. See there's little bolt holes here. Where your uh, oil pan bolts on all the way up while well, you want to put these if you so choose to use them most people don't they just chuck them out but most people don't even know what they're for oh, oh we might have got it stuck too far oh yeah all right there is good that's nice and minty right there we're gonna turn that that way so we can see through it got these other two and way up in there try to get the light that's right here right there <coughs> This is kind of hard. <clears throat> another one in the other side. This is uh, a little different than the videos I normally do. Normally they're off-road. This is kind of a repair type video here. But, should be good anyways. Should be doable. All right, so the package says these are snap-ons, so we're going to pull that out and give it some residuals there. Oh, yeah. Man, that's just beautiful right there. This also helps clean the threads out a little bit, too. So we're going to do the same with this side, it's a little tidbit. Oh, there we go. Alright, a little bit of oil on there. Threading in real nice like. Okay. All right, we're gonna see if we can't get this oil pan on. Okay, so we got the gasket on. Uh, just to show you how these work. That's uh, probably not the right kind to be using for that. Come on. All right, okay, you see, that's how this guy goes. If I can do this this way. Okay, well, anyways. Pretty much thread them in there just like so. And you 
push a gasket on there all four corners like you know make sure she's good and up there uh, doesn't really want to stay in position here but we're gonna pop that out of there that's for the uh, oil dipstick come on stay up there will you stay it will stay okay so go up into the front and give her a little push up in there you know just kind of make sure it's in there and you know give her a little bit of grease all right just a lube it up a little bit because you know it's a dry seal when it goes in and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of lubrication on the dry rubber because that just helps everything slide together where's the rag do we got a rag around here ah uh, right there spent like six months doing this one hand to do literally everything because this hand was wrapped from there all the way to like right there almost to my elbow halfway up my forearm there all I could see was like this much of my fingers those two couldn't even see this one. The index was had a couple of pins sticking out of it. Maybe I'll see if I can't figure out how to stick a picture in there so y'all can see. But in the meantime, we're gonna see if we can't get this bugger up in here. It's kind of heavy. Hmm. Okay, so, we got the oil pan up in there. I'm gonna watch my head here. It almost smacked it on the transmission a couple times. Uh, but yeah, that's how it should look with the pin in there, or the snap-on, to hold your oil pan up in there while you get your other stuff into position up in here. But, <clears throat> did have to take these guys out of the front because normally with these two wheel drive 90 Chevys, you gotta lift the engine up probably about this much just to get that oil pan to clear. So, ended up having to take that out. But we did get it up in here, you know. You could probably uh, put this guy back in to uh, hold it all up there. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that doesn't want to go back in because, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to put all these bolts in, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get this round majiggy right here, this guy. It's all nice and brand spanking new. Fancy little number there, all right? Doesn't have a lot of words to it, you know, but... She goes up there. Uh, I'm not having a brain fart. I'm pretty sure it goes like that. Yes. You can see. The marks indicate. I don't know if you can really see that. Right in there, that 
kind of war box. That indicates that's where the torque converter bolts on to. And this side. Right? Okay, so yeah. You always want that. Right there, this raised indent to be facing towards the motor, towards the crank. And make sure you line this hole. There's six of them. This guy lines up with this. Some engines, very few that I've come across, have a dowel pin right there that holds that on while you take all the bolts out. Which are right there. Ring gear bolts. Or Come on, focus. It just wants to focus on everything else. Anyways. Yeah. So, we'll, uh, we'll get that put on there. Okay, so. There we go. All right, so. We got the oil pan done. Everything's all nicely shiny and on there. All the nice brand new oil pan bolts all the way around. Nice and snugged up. Looking pretty. Looking minty. And a little oily. Oh, yeah. He's gonna have a hard time getting that off. Okay, so now it's a matter of this here 4L60E to go back in after we put this guy on. I'm gonna put the ladder hand off here. Alright, so. This guy, she goes, it normally says front or back on these things. GM must be cheaping out. I want to label their stuff. Make sure those are lined up. Just like so. That's a good flywheel. You stay. And then... It doesn't want to go in there. What's going on? Are you dirty? You must be dirty. Oh, there we go. Went in that hole. Okay. Those threads must be a little dirty in there. Let's see if we can get this on here real quick like. Definitely probably gonna need a little help with the uh, transmission. It's gonna leak granny fluid all over the place. But that's the nature of the job. Oh, oh, oh. Are these all blue? Hmm. Doesn't matter. Okay, what do we got in here? Is this a... Uh... We're not going to use that because I don't know. So, put that in there, that in there. Hmm. Let's try a 17. I'm pretty sure it's a 17. 
I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Oh, look at this guy. Just right up in my face here. Nope. It doesn't want to focus over here. There's one there and one there. Look at he's running. Look at this guy, he's just huge. You try and climb on me, bro, and you're not going to last long. You understand me? Because I don't like spiders, especially big creepy ones like you that bite. Look at that guy. It's like the size of my thumbnail. Okay. Enough distractions. Um, let's try. Maybe he had the right size down here. But I don't know. We got. Eleven sixteenths. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so we need this little guy right here. A little teeny guy, but it's so greasy. So greasy. You know, when people use your tools. And they don't ever wipe their hands off while they're working on stuff. And things just get covered. You know, this is why we can't have nice sinks. Because when my buddy gets working on his trucks, he gets greasy. Real, real greasy. But this little guy, OEM Tools, it's a compact impact, 11,000 RPM. Let's see if we can get it to focus. It's not going to focus. So, 320 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, it's a pretty good little impact, 3H drive, you know, but we're going to see if we can't. Okay, so that spider, guys, is dead. This is how you clean an air hose off with one hand. Ugh. It's kind of difficult, but we managed. Huh. Okay. Okay, so just bear in mind, I don't have a camera guy, so it's just me doing this. Okay? So, yeah. We're going to get this... Uh, Go ahead and go ahead and la da da da.
Losing my words. Number one, we want number one. Okay. Ding. Even number one is kind of quick on this. Are we actually on number one? We are on number one, all right. Okay, that's that. Good and snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Oh, get up there. Just, just get up there into your place. Actually, your place is up in that pocket, in that, that case. But, still, get on my way. Oh, look at this guy. This guy doesn't want to... Bear in mind, my buddy pretty much built this himself. So things aren't exactly tidy, but he's a greenhorn. You can't expect much from a greenhorn. Oh, look at that, eh? There's whatchamahoos, it's not on there all the way. The thingamajiggy that holds the, the spark rotator on there. Keeps it from leaking. We could fix that by loosening off that. Y'all can't really see it, but it's there. It's a little U-shaped thing that has a hole here and kind of wraps around the bottom of the spark rotator. So. Oh, look at this guy missing a stud in his manifold for his exhaust downpipe. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go have a little a little break and uh, yeah, we'll get back to it.